What's going on? It's your boy Bowie here. And uh, your eyes do not deceive you. You are looking at Mortal Kombat X. And why are you looking at Mortal Kombat X? Because I've been seeing a bunch of rhetoric around Mortal Kombat X. Some of it comes from comments in my videos. Some of it comes from Mortal Kombat groups online that talk about how quote unquote bad MK1 is. And a lot of people run around saying that, oh, MK11 is better than MK1. MK11 is the greatest game ever. And then other people come along and say, no, nah, MKX is a thousand times better than MK1. And um, when they say this shit, what they mean to say is they prefer MKX more than they prefer MK1. Not that the games are better because I will make the argument right here in this video that Mortal Kombat X is not a better fighting game than MK1. And I'll prove it to you. Why am I doing this? Not because I want to shit on people's parade or, you know, hate on MKX because I don't hate on MKX. But I want to do two things. One, I want to dispel the notion that, you know, the things that people prefer are automatically the best. See, one toxic trait that people have is this tendency to lionize the things that they prefer and demonize, demonize the things that they don't. So in other words, their attitude is, if I like something, that means it's good. If I don't like something, that means it's bad. If I really like something, if I love it, that means it's the best. And if I hate something, that means it's absolutely the worst shit ever. Everything else is better. That's, that's the attitude that they have. And it's Excuse dumb, me. and it's juvenile, and it's wrong. That's aim number one, is to dispel that notion. Aim number two. Aim number two is to show people that though this game was fun, this game was filled to the brim with scrubby ass mechanics that helped new and lesser players beat people that they otherwise had no business defeating. And that's a huge reason why a lot of people like this game, because they got victories over people that they probably wouldn't have beaten otherwise. Okay, so what makes MKX scrubby? Well, for one, these do. This is an overhead. This is a low. Both of these lead to combos. The hell? Now, technically, this overhead was minus 13 on block, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So it's technically punishable. But I can count the number of people on one hand that punished this overhead even one time, let alone repeatedly in the same set or the same match. And I put thousands of hours into this game, including 200 some, some odd hours on PC alone. So more or less, this is safe. People are so glad that they fucking block this that they forget to punish it. So it's a safe overhead launcher, more or less. And in this, this is a hit confirmable low. If you see that people blocked it, you can cancel into that and be safe. And if they get hit with it, you freeze them and then they die. You know what I'm saying? So Sub-Zero already has a safe 50-50 mix. And so many characters had this in common with him. They had overheads and lows that led to combos. And you could make them safe if you wanted to. If you didn't believe that you would hit the damn thing, you could find a way to make it safe. You could find a way to make it safe. 
And if you did hit them, you got a full combo. You know what I'm saying? Now, extra 50-50s wouldn't be so bad, but the problem is, here's full screen. Look at how quickly I got to the opponent. You see that? Within a second, it's 50-50 time. You see that? And I'm full, I'm full screen away. So, if I could run up in that short of time and mix you for a combo, and I'm Sub-Zero, other characters have a much easier time applying these 50-50s. And that's assuming that they're standing. But most people will just jump in. They'll just jump in at you. They'll jump in. Do their overhead. Jump in. Do their low. And I know this because I did this a lot. This is my favorite shit right here. Jump in overhead. You look at all my old MKX videos of me playing Sub-Zero. I did this shit all the time. All the fucking time. You see that? And look at how scrubby, look at how scrubby this is. So from out here, the jump arc is normally this big, right? But then when I cross over somebody, notice how much shorter it turns. You see that? Anyway. So I can hope, jump right over. Ooh, 50-50. You know what I'm saying? And the wild shit about it is a lot of these jump-ins were unanti-airable. Like Sub-Zero, he could just pop you from right there. Look at that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, look at that. What do you do about that? You know what I'm saying? Like, and other characters were way more egregious than Sub-Zero. Let me Sub -Zero. go to this motherfucker Ooh. right here. Total con. Now, jumping was really powerful in this game. Way too powerful. Because of just how rewarding it was for you to jump in on somebody. So I demonstrated that Sub-Zero has to jump in from here to hurt you. Kotal Khan can jump from here and get a combo. Look. Look at how far jump in one hits from. So from jump distance, I can backdash once. Look how far this is. Bear in mind, two backdashes is basically full screen. So from full screen, if I dash up once, I'm well within jump in range. Let me see. One third, two thirds, three thirds. So that's, okay. So this is two thirds screen right here. From two thirds of the goddamn screen away, I can hit somebody with a jump in as Kotal Khan. I might even be able to go a little further. Nah, not that far, okay. He can jump in from two thirds screen and hit you with an overhead. That's scrubby as fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, that scrubby's a motherfucker. Because look at the jump arcs. Look at how many jump ins it takes. Like, the jumps are really high. Normally, in a, any other fighting game, when the jump arcs are like this, you can easily be like, oh, shitty jump, pluck, pop them right out the sky, get your combo. Not this game, because you can be out here and hit somebody. And Sub-Zero can't anti-air Kotal Khan from here at all with anything aside from a, a re not even a reactionary, uh, an, an on-read uppercut or an ice clone. 
If he's doing anything other than those two things, jump in, jump in city. You see what I'm saying? And it wasn't just Kotal Khan. Shinnok was like this, Quan Chi was like this, Sonya was like this, Kung Lao was like this. Um, who else had a stupid jump in? Kitana could do this. Um, there's so many people I'm not mentioning that could all just jump in from out there and just fuck people up. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't have to have a strong footsie game because you could just jump from out here and combo people. You didn't have to get here in order to initiate your damage on nobody. If someone was doing their best to keep you out, they could keep you at this distance and you can still combo them. So defenders can't really defend. Because like I said, like I've established, opponents can just run up and do whatever. Did he have a low? He did have a low. This fucking launched? Are you fucking serious? So that's a low, and that's an overhead. Look, mix, mix. He does this to condition you, and then you get hit with this low. I don't know Kotal Khan's things, but you get the idea. He mixes, he can mix you, and jump in from all the way out here. Let me go back to Sub-Zero for a second. So we've established that you can jump in on people from damn near anywhere, okay? But suppose you naturally get the first hit in a combo. What happens to your opponent when you combo them? Well, in this game, you get put in the corner. Watch this. Look at that, corner, corner. He's cornered off of one combo. Even if it's a jab combo. He's in the corner. And that's not even the only combo he could do that would put the opponent in the corner. I have enough time to dash up and still be in their face when they rise with that combo right there. So Sub-Zero could just do one combo, put you in the corner, and still have enough time to initiate a 50-50. Bitch, I mean, look at that. You see that? So one hit starts this 50-50 game. And I know y'all remember what happened when Sub-Zero put your ass in the corner, particularly Grandmaster Sub-Zero put you in the corner. You remember what happened. You remember this? Oops. You know what I'm saying? That's just some of it. Hold on. There's more. Oops. I, I'd have had to do a forward throw. Okay.
That's set play. Sub-Zero could do that. I didn't have to think to do none of that shit. All I had to do was remember the sequences, or better yet, make my hands remember the sequences. If you train hard enough, which is not hard to do, you can learn the sequences and you can apply them just as mindlessly as I did. And you can mix people to death. And you can make them guess between those four options. Close clone, far clone. I didn't have to think. I'm not outplaying my opponent here. They're guessing. They're guessing. They are guessing. They're guessing. And if they guess wrong, they die. If my opponent is playing Jax and I'm picking Grandmaster Sub-Zero, they just fucking die. Because Jax can't do shit about none of that. Reptile can't really do shit about none of that. He can armor out, but his armor's unsafe. So he'll just die. Johnny Cage can't really do too much about that either. There's, there, there are characters that Grandmaster Sub just deletes from the screen. He just beats them because he can do this. You see what I'm saying? You ever played Sun God Kotal Khan against Grandmaster Sub-Zero? <laughs> that shit is child abuse for Kotal. I'm rusty as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, I get a combo, and with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is. This is set play. This is what the game was right here. Set play. You did that, mixed the opponent until they died. And it wasn't just Sub-Zero that did this. Mad characters did this shit. And what was worse is they did it from here. They did their shit anywhere on the screen. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's fun. Sure, it's definitely fun, but it's scrubby because it doesn't require you to think. It doesn't require you to actually understand how to play fighting games. It's just, can you execute the combos like a monkey? If you can execute a combo, you can do what I was just doing with Sub-Zero and you can beat people. You don't have to know how to anti-air with Sub-Zero. You don't have to know what strings to use up close. You don't even have to use down four. Ne not necessarily. Anyway. You can just be a combo monkey. Mix motherfuckers. Hold on. Put them near the corner. You know, two combos. One combo will put them right in the corner and set up your shit. I ain't even end the shit in there in the corner. They can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't just that. Oh no, it's not just that. Hold on. So, in addition to set play. A character like Ferret Tor could do this. Look at that. He gets a launch from this normal that hits from like half screen. I don't know his shit. I don't know his shit. But yeah. 
Boom. And so, you'll fight Ferrator players that are just doing this mid-screen, hoping that you go near them so that they can hit you with this shit. And what can you do unless you have a good projectile? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're anywhere within this range, which you often will be, look at that. See that? So if they ever do this move to you, now you're in danger of getting smacked. Especially if they meter burn it. Bomb. Smack. Now you're fucked up. Combo time. You know what I'm saying? So, this is scrubby as hell. Because you don't even have to, you don't have to outplay the opponent to do that. You can just do this shit. And even Cyrax can do it. And Cyrax was a low tier character. His shit was dumb too. And Cyrax also had an overhead and a low. And that's a combo. And that's a combo. And just in case you're not sure, this move is safe on. Wait a minute, it's uh, EX Buzz Off. That shit's zero on block. This is zero on block. That's a safe launching. 50-50. And he can cancel into net off of both of those things. You see what I'm saying? And that's an overhead too, even though it's too slow. Yeah, and he also had a really good move. His move was awesome. But still, like, Safe mix that combo, and this is from a mid to low tier character. And virtually every character was like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the game was scrubby as shit. Now, there were some characters that did not necessarily play Katana. scrubby, like Katana and Melina, but even they Melina. have scrubby ass Melina. elements to their gameplay. So Katana already has really good normals. This this mid here, this string, is an amazing string. This mid is ridiculous. This float allowed her to get a jump in attack while standing. And she could jump in attack from mad far too. Look at this dumb shit. So she could actually get two jump in attacks. Hold on. Whoops. She got two jump in attacks with her shit. 37% meterless. Because she could do two jump in attacks. You see that shit? Like, this is bananas, bro. Like, this character could goddamn jump in on you. And then jail you with two jump in punches. Which is crazy. But then on top of that, she has a fucking 50-50. MK1 Katana players thought that because Katana couldn't do this shit that she was bad. This makes MK1 Katana not good. When she still has this normal, she still has this normal. She pretty much has this normal. She has a better version of this. Like, the character strong as shit. And again, Molina had the same shit. Low. 
overhand. 50-50s. For no reason. She don't need this shit. But she got it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, every character was mixed in this fucking game. That's why y'all like it so much. Because you ain't got to... You ain't gotta learn how to open people up. The game will open them up for you. Like a can opener. That's what this game was. It was a can opener. This game is a calculator. So instead of you having to know your times tables and know how to do long division and know how to subtract and the borrowing rules of subtraction, you could just use this calculator and get all your do all your damn arithmetic this way. This game was a calculator. So the problem with a calculator is not that it exists, is that when you become too reliant on a calculator and you have to actually compute things without one, you're asked out. You're asked out. And so this game acted as a fighting game calculator. It gave new players every fucking possible tool you could imagine to help them beat people that they have no business beating people that they can't out footsie people they can't out neutral people that know how to anti-air people that understand fighting game fundamentals and i'm not just talking about myself because even me as i told y'all i was mixing people too I was being a scrub too, cause this game let me be. But when I went on to play MK11, I couldn't take none of what I learned from this game into that game, nothing. The set play wasn't there. Some of the crazy jump-ins were there, but there were stronger anti-airs. So if I jumped, I could actually fucking die for real. There was no run. There is no crazy mix for every character. Only some characters had mix. And the mix wasn't safe either. You know what I'm saying? Except for Sub-Zero, they made him scrubby. But, um, what am I saying? I'm saying this. Enjoy MKX. Consider it your favorite MK if it's your favorite MK. Only don't lie about what this game was. Don't be so vision clogged by roses that you refuse to see the truth about this game the truth about this game is that it was scrubby as fuck it played the game for you it was a calculator because it stifled anti-airs and strong defensive movement you had to make a read in order to anti-air somebody instead of being able to react uh, if you were on defense, you constantly had to guess between overhead and low all the time, all the fucking time, not to mention plus frames. Oh, I ain't even talk about this. I ain't even talk about this. Hold on. I didn't even talk about this. Let me show one last thing Jason with this scrubby Boyd. motherfucker here. Sub-Zero. Okay. So this game, <laughs> oh man. Actually, let me be a different variation. I'm sorry, hold on. I don't remember if I was, un if I was relentless or unstoppable, hold on. Okay, so one of the things that really makes this game scrubby, two things this bullshit here you can mash this shit you can mash this you really can mash this and it doesn't matter if they get hit with it or if they block the shit look you can mash this shit even on block and because this shit is six frames 
and your negative four on block, the opponent has 10 frames in between each subsequent series of pokes to react to this. And you know a lot of times you weren't able to get your poke out in between these. So you would just get mashed on. Mash, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Now, this game's scrubby as shit for allowing you to mash like that on people. Ooh, here we go. Okay. So, oh my God, this is absurd. Look at that shit. Fucking auto footsie ass normal. Oh my God. You don't even have to be good at the game. You can just do this from all the way back here and it's gonna hit somebody. Fucking hell. Anyway, so, let me see. I got a B sub and then I got a, oops. All right, so, this string is negative eight on block, right? Okay. So let me make sub-zero block real quick. Hold on. Uh, enemy record block stance. So this is negative on block, right? So watch what happens. Watch what you can do. Whoops. Hold on. I'm fucking up right here. Why couldn't I immediately do this shit? Better yet, this is better. Look at that. I'm supposed to be negative four on block. I try to take my turn back because he's negative. I get, I get my armor. Ooh, bitch, nope. Niggas would use armor to steal their turn back when they were negative. So heaven help you if you decided, oh, I was going, you poke me, I'm gonna poke you back. Nope, got your ass. Let me see if I can do it with the, the string. Oh, here we go. Okay. Nope, don't you dare, bitch. So he does this string, shit's negative. Okay. he. I was able to poke back. Whoop, nope. If you're a little slow, fucked up. No. Hell no. Look at that. Now, if you were fast, you could stop him. But also did this shit slow as fuck. Look at that. Crazy. So, you have a character And it was everybody that could do this. You sit there and try to take your turn back when they're negative and you get fucked up. Because these armored moves were so damn fast and negative frames didn't mean shit in this game. Characters like Jason would be like, oh, you thought you was gonna hit me, bitch? No, 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 no. You better keep blocking, because if you don't, Get fucked up. And then last but not least, last but not motherfucking least, if you're here and you want to be far away from your opponent, L1, you're gone. Or if your opponent's far away, let's say your opponent's successfully walling you out keeping you away like they're supposed to. Nope. I can hit you now. See that? You can just press a button and bypass neutral with a renewable resource that comes back. I rest my case. This game is scrubby, man. It's scrubby. The scrubbiness of this game and the unga nature of it led to this game only lasting two years in tournament. When Injustice 2 came out in 2017, nobody even gave a fuck about this game no more from a tournament perspective because they were sick and tired of being mixed to death. And they said as much. They said as much, okay? They were not out here singing the praises of this game like y'all are doing now. And again, 
if you want to love this game, love it, but tell the truth about it. That's all the fuck I'm saying. You're allowed to prefer Gucci Mane to Eminem. That's all fine, cool, and dandy. Maybe his music does something for you. What you're not allowed to do is to then use that preference to say that Gucci Mane is better than Eminem when he's not. There's nothing about Gucci Mane that surpasses Eminem in any objective fashion. Hits, rapping ability, lyrics, wordplay, skill, albums, album sales, hits, nothing. Nothing. Impact, doesn't matter. But people will use their preferences to say that their preferences are better than things better than others in the same category that they're objectively not better than. And that's the bullshit. That's what irritates me. People pretend like this game wasn't scrubby as shit, like it helped them get better at fighting games or something, it didn't. You didn't have to think to play this game, you could just mash. And you could win. You could learn a combo, not even know who the hell not know shit about the character or fighting games and beat people and that's why you liked it and that's fine just be honest about it that's all okay so i think i've made my case um let you, let me know your thoughts below i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get a lot of disagreement but that's okay i'm cool with it i'm, I'm being factual about what i'm saying here so i'll catch y'all later one